Hey, what's up everyone? In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to buy Velas, also known as VLX, using KuCoin.com. I'm going to be showing how to buy it using USDT, which is Tether, but this same exact process works with Bitcoin because the two trading pairs at the moment supported for Velas are Bitcoin and Tether. So let's jump right into it. First off, we're here at KuCoin.com. We'll leave a link in the description. If you don't have an account set up yet, it's free and easy. So I have mine already. I'm going to head into my main account wallet to show you where I sent the USDT to. So I sent $100 worth of USDT to my main account by simply clicking deposit, copying my address from here, and then sending some USDT on the Ethereum blockchain to this address. You can get USDT from many different places. And then from there, I now have it in my main account. I will need to transfer it into my trading account. To do that, just click transfer, enter the amount, or click the number here, and it'll automatically select all of it. And can switch that into your trading account. It needs to be in your trading account to be able to trade it, of course. Next up, click on markets up here in the upper left. Right now we're selected on USD. So if I search for VLX, we can see that VLX to USDT, this trading pair is available. And if I were to click over to Bitcoin, then VLX to BTC is also supported. So as I mentioned, I'm using USDT. So I'll be clicking on this trading pair. Go ahead and click on that. Next up, it'll open up the trading page. I have to enter my trading password real quick like that. Over here, I have the chart of the price of VLX to USDT. We have the order book here, recent trades, and down here is where we'll actually be doing the trading. So I'm looking to buy VLX and I can see that I have $100 worth of USDT available. You can do a limit order where you set an order at a set price, but then it has to be filled if you want your I want my order to just fill right right away. Click on market, which if you're doing, you know, not a crazy amount and you just want to get it instantly, then this is the easiest way. And then I'm going to click just the 100% because I want to buy as much VLX as I can. You can always enter a custom amount if that's what you're trying to do. Go ahead and click buy. Your order's been placed successfully. Just like that, I have 447 VLX right over available here so to withdraw this from kucoin i have to head back up and hover over assets then i can click on trading account because my vlx is still going to be in the trading account so i need to transfer that to my main account so that i can withdraw it from kucoin so i will transfer that vlx over to the main account click the available amount to select all confirm and the reason I'm sending it to my main account is, like I said, I want to withdraw it from KuCoin. But the reason for that is kind of the main reason for this tutorial in the first place is that one of the, well, Valhalla has an upcoming land sale. And one of the currencies which you can use to buy the land is VLX. So that's why I'm demonstrating how to buy it if you don't have any VLX yet using KuCoin, which, by the way, isn't the only exchange that you can buy VLX on. It is just one of the more popular ones, and it's the one I've always had a good experience with. So now that I have it in my main account, I can go ahead and withdraw it. I'm going to be withdrawing it to my MetaMask wallet because the MetaMask, my MetaMask wallet is what I can use to actually buy the land. I can't use the VLX if it's still in KuCoin. So I'm going to need to send that to my MetaMask. Let me just open up my MetaMask wallet first. And right now I'm on the Ethereum mainnet. I'm going to click the drop down and switch over to the Vela's network. If you don't have the Vela's network added to your MetaMask yet, let's say, let me click on it to show you what that looks like. To add the Vela's network, what you need to do is click on your this accounts button up here, then click on settings, scroll down till you see networks. And from here, I already have the Vela's network added. But if you need to add it from scratch, you can click add network and this will open a page where you can enter the information manually. 
you can get the, all the proper information from somewhere like this medium post here. I'll leave a link in the description and it gives, it allows you to just copy and paste the different values for the different sections. The other option is to use something like tokenmagic.app. The cool thing with this is it links to your MetaMask and then you can add the Vela's network with a simple click of a button. But if for whatever reason you have a problem with this, it's always good to know how to do it manually. But yeah, with that added, with our Vela's network added, I'm gonna copy my account address up here by simply clicking on it, double checking the, val the numbers, so that when I come back over to KuCoin and I wanna withdraw my Vela's, my VLX, click withdraw, gotta make sure it's in the main account or it, will, it won't even let me withdraw it in the first place. Gonna enter my wallet address, just Control V or Command V if you're on Mac. You have to select the network. Be sure to select VLX EVM. Down here, enter the amount that you'd like to withdraw. If you click the value here, it'll automatically withdraw as much as it can. And then go ahead and confirm that withdrawal. Confirm the withdrawal. Always double check your amount and your address. Confirm that. Next, I'll need to do some security verification. And just like that, we've made the withdrawal. I'm gonna open up my MetaMask so I can see when it arrives. I already have some VLX here, but we will see it add to that amount right there. Give it a few minutes, a moment. It might take a minute for KuCoin, for the for the transaction to get um, kind of verified on KuCoin. And on the Vela's blockchain end, transactions are lightning fast, but when you're going from an exchange to an external wallet, sometimes it can take a minute. While we wait for that, just want to talk a little bit about the land sale and how this is a chance to start to get your to reserve your land on in the Valhalla metaverse on the planet, which has been being developed and created by the development team. And yeah, as I mentioned, VLX isn't the only currency you can use. You can also use BUSD as long as it's on the Vela's network. As I'm talking here, the transaction was confirmed and right here is the vlx which we just withdrew from kucoin so now my vlx is ready it's on the vela's network and then when i want to use that to buy the land in the land sale i have that all set up but as i mentioned you can also use busd as long as it's on the vela's network we have another video on how to convert busd from the binance smart chain network over to the vela's network using swaps that's the last video, or you can find the link in the description. And you can also use USDT if it's on the Vela's network. So the USDT, which I used to buy this VLX, wouldn't have worked because that USDT is on the Ethereum network. But if it's on the Vela's network and you maybe bought it using Wagyu Swap, then that works as well. But yeah, I hope you found this video useful. This is also, you know, not only for the land sale, but just if you're trying to get VLX for any situation, this is hopefully helpful for you. If you have any questions, drop them down below and be sure to join in the Valhalla communities. Links to all the socials are in the description or on the Valhalla website. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Valhalla out.